welcome to Robot Central. At Rye Presbyterian Nursery School, we value what the child brings to the classroom. As a Reggio-inspired school, several of our classes dive deep into projects and studies throughout the school year. The most beautiful part of the project's approach is that it makes learning meaningful for the children. It gives the learning context. Our project of robots began where projects generally begin, and that is in our building area. The gentlemen were building big, big structures, which then started to resemble a robot. Eventually, they started putting small blocks in the bottom because they knew that there had to be power. And we said, why are you dumping blocks into the bottom of the structure? And they said, because they're batteries. And robots need batteries. We thought maybe it was a one-day thing, but it continued. We saw it in, in the sensory table. We had gears, and they were building robots there. All of the building then bubbled over into the dramatic area where the girls were uh, playing family and their play immediately changed. It was no longer just a family, it was a family of robots and they, just, and they decided that there was a mommy robot, a daddy robot, a couple of babies and um, their favorite was a dog robot. Give me a little dog here, doggy robot move. How does it move? We press a button. You put, there's a button, and what, uh, what's what's the power in its belly? It has what? It has a switch. A switch. Mm hmm. What's inside this? Do you think? There's batteries. Batteries. They brought in working um, dogs and cats, and we were talking about how they worked and what made them move. From there, we started drawing robots and painting robots and reading about robots and doing research, and it came back to power and energy. So we brought in a very simple circuit and showed them a closed and open circuit, and it lit a light bulb. So in order for us to have this light bulb go on, the electrical circuit, circle, has to be closed. So what we're going to do is make a robot with energy from a battery, just like some of your robots. I'm going to hold this and you're going to twist these wires. So this way they they join together. Exactly. I'll hold it together and you twist it around. So I have this one go around the other one. Okay. Now, turn it on. Children learn through doing, through working with the material, through experimenting with it. The children internalize the experience, and through internalizing it, they remember it. They first started with Mrs. Walter and had four different robots to make, my favorite being the art one where it spun round and round. Whoa! Whoa! Now the other one! Can I turn the other one on? Now it's going round and A lot. It's not moving a lot. It moves slowly. You can tell children about circuits and electrons, and you can tell them about batteries and motors. But the way to do it is really um, to try it out and work it out and figure it out. Throughout the robot study, the children were investigators. They were researching, problem solving, exercising critical thinking skills. The teachers facilitate and guide that learning through listening and observing children's actions and ideas. The curious minds of our children is what brings life to these projects. We are now working on creating our own robots and the parents are coming in to assemble a, a bug-like robot, and they're going to give their robots tremendous personality. have a name? Scarlet. Scarlet. It's Scarlet the Eagle. The baby eagle. How do we spell S? S. S. 
start with an S, please. The children were full of stories about their robots, and the teachers began to take notes about what the children had to say. The children went over to the writing center and began to write about their robots. They were forming the letters and writing the words. What's the story of your uncle? The children were still really focusing on their robot. And what looks like drawing and playing is really the beginning of literacy. Learning is happening because the children are excited about it. Project experiences like these create a profound path for learning. By working with their peers, by working with their teachers, by working as part of a group, they're learning from each other. They're gaining more experiences. These learning moments at RPNS will travel with them as they continue on their educational journey of life.